She also helped make all the clothes that they wore. She helped her mother sew the things. So she was used to using a needle and thread since the time of being very young. And she also made her own wedding dress, hand batik, her own wedding dress. Doing batik was very complicated, and she did it. When her father died and she had to do something to support all these five younger siblings, she needed some direction, something professional, rather than sewing for the neighborhood ladies. She went to the Y and she took a course in pattern making. And that's what I think was the impetus that very first course she took no. saved her her entire life. In 1946, started Malami Sewing Company. Dad and Mom both had friends in the textile industry, and they would send us bolts of material, and would lay them out and cut them, and make uh, sarongs and stuff, uh, table cloths, and napkins and stuff like that. Malami and Company, which is my dad's family's, they sold, um, religious articles. Dad's family in this religious business said, hey, there's an opening, we think, for religious garments. And Aunt Helen, you can design them, you can sew them, and I'll sew for you. It became Malmi Vessel Company. She designed everything. And taught the sewers how to sew, made the patterns, and everything else. She used to like to sit down and just sketch things. Yeah. Just, you know, as you're talking. And then we started with two garments, then another one, and just kept making more and more. I think she really enjoyed it. I do too. Yeah. I think she loved doing what she was doing. Yeah. 